हे गाइस आई एम निशांत एंड वेलकम टू साइबर नाटिको इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिजाइन अ सिस्टम दैट कैन हैंडल आवर लाइक इन एप्स लाइक फेसबुक और इंस्टाग्राम बेसिकली व्हाट आई मीन इज वी विल इंप्लीमेंट अ लाइक सिस्टम फॉर आवर पोस्ट्स सो व्हाट आर व्हाट हेयर आई हैव इज इज द ऑथेंटिकेटेड ऐप वेयर वी कैन साइन इन विद गूगल अकाउंट so if you click the button this will ask us our email using a pop up and if you want to learn how to do all of this you have to watch my video on firebase authentication with react and yes we will use firebase for back end and react on the front end so you will see after logging in that we have a post text area one button and a log out button here to log out if you click the button of log out we will be logged out we will get this sign in button so click login again and let's get into it now our first action should be to create a state for this text area so let's create it using new state hook so const or let you can use both so const let's say post and set post equals to use state and empty string initially now on this text area which is here where is it okay scroll to the bottom here let's add on change event wait let me adjust my chair on change let's add an event so an event it will take a param then in this set post we will set event dot target dot value now whatever we type in this text area will be stored inside the state of post fine fine let me do this let me expand this or let's leave it not our priority fine now we have a post state which contains our area or this data so now we need a we need a what do we need what do we need we need a function so let's say add post equals to an arrow function so let's console this so console dot log post to check whether we are getting the post or not so in this button of post let's bind this function so on click this add post now a few uh, oh, oh okay open the console type something click post and they should be here you see it's here fine now we have to store this inside our database that i already created so open firestore database and you have to figure it out or watch my videos on the same topic firestore database to get started so what we need to do is now is so we have this we have to import a or not a two things which is add doc function from fire store and we need uh, what we need else what else we need collection keyword or collection function to create a collection here so we can say let um, database database instance we need to create a instance for our database so we have to add collection and we have to add this database here that we imported from firebase config again you have to watch my videos to get started from all of these for all of these then let's add the collection name so this should be uh, like system let's make it like system or let's say posts simply yes we have to use posts here now you have to pass this instance inside this add doc function that will be add that will with that we will that we will add here so add doc we will add instance and the data itself so the data will contain this thing which is our post so let's add data add data here remove this console log we don't need it here add post as post now next thing we need is what we need next is a boolean value that will 
determine that whether our post is liked or not so we can say is liked so basically it will be false initially because we don't need to like the post when we post it so make it as false now save this fine and we are done here for our adding data adding data in firestore now let's type okay when we need one thing we need here is we can add a then block here and in the then block we can clear out this set post so make it empty to clear out this area from here or this text from this text area so also let's make this as value as post now if you refresh and let me add something called hello let me zoom this a little bit okay now let me click post yes see if you check here in this fires for database we should see this let me see we are getting this post here post collection inside this we have a document which has post as string and this is liked as false which means boolean value fine let's add one more called what we did add here hello let's add good bye click post here and this will be here as well immediately so now what we need to do is we need to get the data to store them inside our ui or to display them in the ui so we can say or we can import get snapshot function okay not get not not get snapshot on snapshot fine we have this okay so we need a use effect hook that we already had here that will determine our auth state change. So we'll use this thing called on snapshot. So this will take our instance, which is this to determine where do we need to data where do we need to get data from? And this will contain a response. So we can say console.log or this. Let me store this response in one state as well. So we can say const posts and set posts, multiple posts, use state and array. Fine, simple as that. And in here, we will do this. So set post. So we'll have to traverse through this res. So we can say res dot data dot map so we can say post and we want to return post dot data added with let's add okay let's add id as well so we can say post dot id because if you see that every document has an id this and this we have to get it using this post.id. Now, I think we are doing something wrong. So let's console.log this to check. Open the console and let's see the data. Okay, something is wrong. So we need to use, I think, data.docs. I mean, res.docs.map and then all of this. Now we are getting this. Yes. So revert it back to set. posts and if you okay we have this in the set posts i mean in posts now let's create one uh what is it uh let's create one component in the source folder called posts.jsx make it functional component save import this here or let's do this first so after this div, we will add one mapping function on the posts. So posts dot map to display the contents in the UI. We will add post and we can say return. What do we need to return? We need to return this posts component that we created just now. So return it and 
you will see it's being automatically imported here. Import posts from posts. Now what we need to do is we need to pass this post here and save. Now you will see two posts here because we have two posts in the database, but the text is static. So as you see, we are passing this post here. We have to get it using props. So destructure it. No. In this div, let's add one p tag and we can say post dot post to get the post here. Fine. This looks ugly right now. So let's add some styling div class name. Let's say posts body. Now if you copy, let me come to app.jsx, sorry, app.css and uh, we can say post posts body border one pixels solid white save we have this border around also let's add one div here as well to wrap this mapping of posts in this div let's add posts main fine Let's make a grid here. So let's add post posts main. Let's add display of grid uh, grid template columns auto auto to make two in one row. Also, let's add a gap of 10 pixels to have a gap. Fine. In this post body, we need some padding around to expand this from inside. So make it 10 pixels or let's add shorthand property. So 10, 0, not it is 20 and I mean 10 and 20. Okay. This looks fine now. Fine. Fine. Fine means fine. Also, we need one like button here to like this post. So we can say button. Let's say like. So we have a like button here in both of them Like it we can click. Fine. So this is done. Now, if you open this, we will see this that I already showed you. So basically is like this false here in both documents. What we need to do is we need to click the button to set this as true is like button. So let's do that. Create a function here. Simple. Here let's create. So const, let's say, uh, let's say like or which can be do like as well do like an arrow function let me pass it here so this should be passed here in this post let me get it from here and structure it and on the button of like when we click it they should run i mean this function of do like we also need to pass the id so you see, we had some IDs like this ID and this ID that we added here. See, this ID we added here. We need to pass from this mapping. So we can say, uh, let's say what we can say, post dot ID. Okay, we need to pass this. Save. And uh, where does the function do like? Let's add or get in it params. So we can say is liked. So we can console.log is like to see what we get. So if you open the console now, open the console, remove this, clear this, click like here and we will get this ID for this particular post for goodbye. Click hello. We will get we will get the ID of this post. So that works. Now what we need to do is we need to update this field using this ID. So we need two functions here from Firestore doc and update doc. So this doc will determine which field to update using ID and this update doc will update that field. So we can say let doc to update 
so we can say doc function that we imported right now and this will take the database instance where is it this which already contains the collection and the collection name so we can say doc where is it where is it where is it we have to pass this instance and the id so our id is this wait a second we should be making this as id not is liked that will come later so make this as id now i have this doc to update then we need to use the update doc function so update doc we need to pass this doc to update which document to update and the data we want to change so we want to change is like to true t r u e save and that's all so let's try this so you see both of them are false let's click one like goodbye click it now check here you will see this has true now click this one hello this will all this will also update it which will be now true now this will not change right now this like button to like because we are not checking here or creating a condition to show like button on false and a on liked on true so let's do that so we can say we can check if post dot uh, what is the key name is liked i think this is it post dot is liked if it is true in this case we will show liked button like and if it is false we will show simple like you will check you will see here that both of them are liked because we are having a condition here let me add one emoji to make it so we can say thumbs up i think thumbs up sign fine so it's done but we cannot change it to change it back to dislike so you see on posts or like facebook on or instagram if you click that button again that will dislike the post so let's implement that as well so we need to pass this as well post is liked i mean these values so we have to pass it here in both of them now save this come to this app.js let me get this here which is is liked fine so now we what now what we will do is we will check if this is like property that we are getting from this uh on click event if it is true which means our post is liked in this case we need to set it as false so make it as false fine and in else we have to make it true now save let's try this so both of them is true click the button again liked and you will see this says like divided back to like button this means that our post has been disliked fine click it again and you will see this has liked try this with try this with this post and the same will happen let's try one more post let's say goodbye okay we already have this so let's say good morning now click post this will be here with no likes here so click this this will be liked and it will be stored inside this database so where is it goodbye hello and this good morning so it's like it is true because we have liked it so that was it for our like button and it's working perfectly